All right, and now we're going to set up the About Us pages on your e-commerce websites, online stores with Flatsome WordPress theme. So if your site doesn't look this complete yet, go ahead and watch our previous videos on the sub pages and also the longer video on how to create an online store e-commerce website in WordPress 2017. And you'll have all this that you see on your screen and mine at your fingertips. All right, so for starters, we're just gonna hover on edit page in the upper nav and jump to the edit with UX builder. And what we're gonna do is change up the page header and the page subheader. So where it says about us, we're gonna say about our family, all right? Because anyone who watches a video of ours is part of our family in the Dear Blogger community here. And we're gonna change up the subtext here and say, can you believe it's been three years of making e-commerce websites together. We sure can't. Thanks for spending this time together. All right, now we're gonna go down and we're gonna change up the subheader. So this should just say something about like, you know, the people below it. So meet our team or this is who we are. Pretty cool. So we're going to just say, not sure why Lauren Epson is bold, but we'll get rid of that. These are the faces behind the website and the YouTube channel. We're excited to get to know you. Excellent. All right, and then to change up one of these little uh, CEO or marketing director boxes, we're gonna start by clicking on the circle. So what that's gonna do is open up our team member little uh, piece of content here. It's a column with a team member inside of it, and another column with another team member, and so on. So we wanna click on the team member gear options, which is the same as just clicking on the gray circle. And now we're gonna change the media. And what you can do is just go to one of your social profiles, like Facebook, for example, and you can click to your profile and then you can get a picture there if you want. Or what you can do is open up your photos and hopefully you have some photos on your desktop or on your laptop of yourself and your team. So once you find a picture you like, just click it and hold it and drag it. If you're in an app like Photos, I'm in now, or iPhoto. And then we can also grab a picture of our co-founder, Michelle. And then we're going to get one of the kittens. Oh, those are nice. I should have, why? See, sometimes you just don't share on social media when you should. All right, then uh, I also got a couple pictures of our social media manager and our head of HR, Leroy and Snowy. Um, so we're going to just click change media again and then upload and select. And so once you've taken photos from iPhoto or from photos, then they'll just appear on your desktop and you can preview them, preview them, and we'll take them all and we're just gonna open. So I was just hitting the space bar to preview them in that upload window. Neat little trick. And now we can, uh, wait a little bit longer. So we're just gonna grab the first picture of me here. All right, looking all studly by the coffee sign. Use this image and it'll show up right there in circle form. So that's pretty cool there to give us that little circle crop. Now you just need to change up the name. I'm not Troy, I'm Greg. And I'm not the CEO, I'm just the founder and blogger. You can also give yourself a link um, so if you want, you can just type that in like www.dearblogger.org, which is my blog. And then we can click on something and it'll go there. So we'll figure that out in a second. For now, we just want to actually 
click on the text and write a little bit about ourselves. I enjoy making videos and blog posts and helping you with WordPress stuff. Cool. All right, now we can move on to our next person. Click on the gray circle. We'll just do one more so you get the hang of it and we'll click change media. We're gonna get uh, Michelle, use this image. And so this one might not be too zoomed in, but not a big deal for that one. If you wanna zoom in an image, you can always edit it in your WordPress media tab. Just uh, crop it down, then it'll be forced to be bigger. All right, so we'll change up the name here. I'm just gonna go with Michelle. And she is our marketing director is good. I guess she has a lot of titles. And we're just gonna come down. And so you might see that like the sections are bigger or smaller than the other one. And the reason that is, is because there appears to be this little space above my name, but not above Michelle's name. So what could that be from? Well, I'm willing to bet that's the link. So let's test it out. Let's copy Dear Blogger and put it in Michelle's team member. And let's see if things even out. And they do. Perfect. So you just got to make sure that your team members have all the same features. Now we can change her little bio. I tell Greg. got a good idea and when we're hungry we do some pretty epic dinners all right so that's cool um, yeah three lines of text and three lines of text is great and apply it and update and now we're gonna change up Jane Gray so let's do one more change media grab this picture of uh, Snowy right here. Right, use this image, it's an action shot of Snowy. So we're gonna click on the name, change this to Snowy Jenkins, that's my kitten's name. Title is Head of HR and link is Deer Blogger. All right, and then the description is, I'm super cute unless your name is Leroy, in which case I will wrestle you. You big oaf. Apply and update. All right, so that is how to change up your about page on your online store e-commerce website with Flatsum. What we're going to do is also leave this gray, uh, sort of heather gray background because it's kind of nice and it's going to affect the whole upper part of the site because it um, has the logo and the nav menu overlaid. Kind of like when you get a new tennis racket or a new golf club, you don't necessarily want to change the grip if it works and it looks good because it affects a lot of the feel of that entire page or that entire um, tool. All right, so. If you want to put an image in, go ahead. Just make sure it doesn't clash with your logo, your nav menu, and so on. All right, so thanks so much for watching. Please make sure to rate the video and let me know any questions whatsoever you have in the comments, and I'll talk to you soon. Thanks again. Oh, lastly, I will say that you can edit these individual social icons. So on the R Stores page, we weren't going to edit these because they just share whatever page you put this particular piece of content on, but on the About page, it's a different kind of share button. So these are follow, follow, and so on and so forth, whereas the R stores ones are share, share, etc. To change up these social icons, edit with UX Builder. And then you can easily just um, hopefully click on them. So we can just click on the Facebook one, for example, and it'll open up our team member. We just need to go down into social icons and then right here in the team member piece of content, we can change up. 
the URL. Just make sure it's a period, not a comma. And you can change up all of them really easily like that. Or copy paste your social URLs right in there. Apply and update. Now let's X out and check it out. And now people can get to your social channels right from your own about page. So they can click and get to your Facebook page and then like you and get a new feed of your Facebook content on their news feed or click to your Twitter and so on and so forth. And by default, those will open in a new tab. All right, guys, have fun playing with those social buttons. Thanks again for watching. I'll talk to you soon.